This week on the show, we're featuring Striped Amethyst. Four jokes. Ice cream cones on why I buy that. One minute game of tutorial chess. We're going to look into that a little farther. Citrine under the microscope cab. And a week's worth of class in under 60 minutes. Let's start the show. Oh, the joke, the joke. Don't even have the jokes wrought down. But I do have joke notes. A gardener was spotted putting extra water on her garden because it had sprung a leak. Now, let's start the show. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for coming by. John C., what's up? How's it going? Good. Cheers, buddy. Good to see you. Mm. Always a pleasure. Hope you're ready to have a great week. Yo, got this yo yogurt. This, yeah, dude, totally been eating these pecans. Actually, got some yogurt. Put some pecans in the yogurt. Highly recommend it. Very good. This, you know, what else we got is a piece of striped amethyst, and we can't show it under the microscope cam, but we got other things to show under the microscope cam. Really cool stuff piece of square dot that I got but this thing's got stripes in it funny story I wanted to do a striped amethyst piece for the show I wanted to show off the stripes so I wasn't gonna because usually the striped ones the what you see here you lop it off at the bottom and then you look down it and you get like this pink beautiful check out my other videos this one I wanted to do stripes. Now, here's where it starts to get relevant. I thought, okay, and I, as I get to go in on it, I'm like, we're going to make it into a torch, like a, like an Olympic torch. Back in May when we started on it. And I finished it. Uh, when, when, when did we finish this? July. When the... Olympics were going on so I cut an Olympic torch for the Olympics but I, sh I should have aired it like a month ago right anyway here is the striped amethyst piece with all of its crystal roots kind of you can kind of see that the face of it how it grows in those layers pretty nifty <clears throat> goes through different eras or something sections or something like that you know, um, wait a minute, where were we? Okay, this can go there, and this can go here, yeah, yeah, right there. So anyway, think, think about like a basketball, right? Imagine the inside of a basketball, it's all hollow, and you know, it's buried, it, basketball buried in the ground down because you know ground is down so basketball in the ground and all the water and the minerals and stuff grow inward and so now the inside of this basketball is covered with all these little points like that and that's a lot of points right whole basketball worth now look at the room that you're in imagine that the ceiling to the to the floor is about how deep they're going to be. Actually, they're deeper than that, but imagine that's the chunk of dirt that you're going to be digging in. What are the chances that you're going to find one? Now, let's say that 
they're around there. So you've got a rate of about two basketballs per room you're in. And think about, you know, cornfield or city block or the highway from here to yonder. That's a lot of space, a lot of rooms, you know. You got a lot of room to work with. There's a lot of basketballs. So when it comes to how many crystal points you can get in the basketballs, in the distance, in the earth, there's quite a few. Quite a few basketballs. So when it comes down to doing one point, it gets kind of exciting. It's like, we got quite a few, but actually we don't because it's hard to come up with them. I saw these amethyst points, and people call it chevron amethyst because it's got stripes. I'm going to fire up the microscope so we can get to that. Hello, crystal shaman. How are you today? And the whatever I was talking about, things um the the striped amethyst oh there's another piece right there bam 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 and there's another one right there that's another that's looking down the thing uh so anyway um the striped amethyst is usually chevron but it's all opaque you can't see into it like this crystal and so when i started seeing these pinkish purplish striped amethysts i, I bought as many of them as i could while they were available and uh, I, I'm kind of happy I got I got a couple dozen of them so we're gonna be able to shape up a few more of them but that's not what we're looking at under the microscope cam today and maybe we should be mm. your hair looks longer looks oh thank you crystal shaman it uh, it's it's getting pretty long <laughs> I, I actually trimmed my bangy bangs down because they was getting in my eyes. Poke. Poke. It was getting pretty long there. Bloop. I should shave it all off. I'll be like sports Jake. Let's go swimming. Bloosh. Right? Actually, I was thinking I should like style it up. Like get it real tall. See how high I can get the wave to go? I don't know. Something like that. It's I gotta cut it. So but it the thing I'm trying to cut is this mullet back here. You see that? And it's, it's so hot out right now, you know, but it's actually a bad idea because it's gonna be getting cooler, but maybe it's a good idea because then I'll be ready for it. And it's one of those haircuts that like I'll probably get sunburned if I get get it cut. Because <laughs> then it'll be all, you know, the other Why am I talking about my hair? because somebody brought it up and they, they were like it looks great and I'm like yeah I love you thanks for mentioning my hair looks great <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see okay so uh, the crystal amethyst right and the microscope portion that chevron amethyst is lovely yeah so I call this amethyst could, but that was before I knew what chevron amethyst was. No, don't. Don't cut my hair. Okay, no on the sports, Jake. We like the long-haired Jake a lot. Okay, gotcha. No no on the, the water diving. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, actually, I you know, I like diving a little bit, but uh, I don't swim very much. I need to be closer to the beach or have a pool. That's what I need. A pool. Yeah. Um, I'd be fast. I don't even have any chest hair. What's the deal with that? I don't know. Why am I showing off my chest hair? This is supposed to be a classy gemstone show, Jacob. Let's class it up, baby. We only got two Samethyst videos, and then this baby is polished. And this one's almost done. So we better get to the microscope portion. That's what I was looking for the whole time. The whole time. Joke, intro, camera, there it is. Wish I was closer to the beach. Oh, man. I tell Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But it's like, I, I mean, I'm close enough to, the, to a beach, but it's like going there is a beach. 
and that's the thing too, John. I see, you know, I'll be working. Uh, let's see. All right, is that the right one? I'm working on getting the microscope cam to work. Uh, I'll be working next to the river, and it it's like, you know, I'll see the the. I'll see the the waves and the you know the birds and fish will jump and I think I got a pretty good life and then all the boats with you know jet skis and party pontoons and all that go by with people having literal boatloads of fun and I am at work and I will be for the rest of the day. So, you know, you take it a day at a time. But really, uh, I, I try to keep in mind that it could be that that's the first day they've made it out on the river in a decade, you know? And really, when it comes down to it, I only like to go to the beach like once or twice a season anyway. So, as long as I get that in, then we're good to go, baby. All right, this is this says 14 minutes, but it, it that can't be right. Anyway, we can fit this show in if I do it. If I hurry up, okay. So here's the citrine I was talking about. I I just I I didn't know I didn't really have much of a show planned. Sorry, I got the jokes. Two weeks worth of jokes. It's only about a week and a half, but it is the joke news. I like how the joke news is going, and I, I you know I love all of you for coming by. That's why that's why I do the show. But this, this is a piece of citrine, and Colette and I actually talked about the microscope cam. So what I want to do is you can't really see things, right? I want to get, like, like up here so that you can see the whole thing because that was the goal. And so I wound up getting a microscope that, that shows things closer. That was a mistake. I mean, we were looking at, like, the very tips of the crystal structure itself. And that was, it was cool and all, but the idea is that I can't show you the crystal up here. Like, you, you can't really see it. So I'll show it to you down here, and then you can see it. And it's like we're too close. So I need to get a better microscope cam. And I actually, you know what, this is, this is okay. Maybe if I get a bigger one, because this is one of the cheaper ones, and it's a 2 megapixel. And Colette sent us a donation to get the better microscope cam. And so I did a, a private call with her, and we, we actually went over it. And it was pretty fun, but it wasn't very good for the show. So what we're going to do is just get a, a like a 5 megapixel. Or actually, I was looking, and there are 12 megapixel versions of this one. And then I'm going to get it where I can backlight it um, with like a cell phone. Why not, right? Because it's like, maybe that's not the right one. That's an LG phone. But the Samsung phone has like a white backlight. Kind of like um, that. And so then we'll just use that. And it will will light the, the back side of the, the crystal. And it'll help us see in it. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe we'll have... There's like lighted mats, but maybe we'll actually have to like... I don't know. Maybe we can use the flashlight for the cell phone. I don't know. Still thinking on it. Figuring it out. But that's what we do on the Gemstone Show. We figure things out, right? Now, the other thing I wanted to show you before we get to the actual, like, end of the show is this piece of Peridot that I cut with a faceter. And using that method of... Uh, cerium oxide polish on the faceter table just just putting sandpaper down on my master lap and rubbing it without spinning it I actually got a pretty nice polish on this on this peridot I polished the top of it by hand And then I did I did the rest of it with the faceter, and it's only a 1500 grit polish, so it's not that great. And I really wish it would it would let there. That's that's about the level of green in this peridot. There you go. You can kind of see down into it a little bit there. There. Cut that with the faceter. 
I like it. You know? Turned out pretty good. It's flawless. I wonder what it is. Probably about a carrot and a half, maybe? The thing is, it was too small for the dop. Like, the stick is six millimeters. So... It's like the peridot's like this big and the, and the thing's this big, so I couldn't cut it flat because the glue is all big. And so, like, I had to cut it at an angle. Like, like, instead of going straight down, I had to, like, actually turn it to cut all the square sides. And we'll actually make this one a feature so that you guys can uh, see it a little better. Let's look. I wanted to look at it up close, the, the surface. I wanted to see how crummy my polish is, because I know it's not very good. 1500 grit? No. No. Look at that gnarly polish, man. That's awful. We need a better quality camera, though, so we can see it a little better. I need something to stop all these hangout interruptions. I need to mute my notifications for a while. Yep, and there's the, the side polish. So there's the 1500 grit from the faceter. And there's the 2000 grit from my hand. I repolished that thing a bunch of times. And those big scratches like that kept coming back. Now it needs the 50,000 grit. So I'll have to repolish it, or maybe I'll just leave it as is. Because it, it is a pretty dope gem. I like it. He's cool. Look at that color. That's the color that I that I got out of it. Let me let me try it on the regular actual webcam. And then we'll weigh it. There. See that's about how big it is. Nice big ringy paradotty green piece. And we're gonna make this a feature so you can see how I shaped it. Actually, I think this one goes back like maybe a year or something um there notifications um I, you know actually i don't know if there's anything for exclamation point gems but there could be uh commands maybe or um chat or Tomato. You can throw a tomato at me during the joke portion, which is next, right? We got through the microscope portion. Good job, Jacob. Good job, everyone. You're all so great. Glad you could be here. Can we hear the alerts? Oh, yeah, they're coming in. There it goes. Thanks for coming by, Kiwi. Pretty peridot. Perido, a deer, a female deer. Um, if I remember right, you sell them, don't you? Par Paradox, yeah, I, yeah, I sell the gems. I give away some of them and then give your hair a little, tr uh, just a, just a little. Yeah, just so it's, it, it's like kempt. I'll tell them that. My phone can have white or dark. Ooh, the dark might actually help with some of the brighter, lighter gems to show the color. But mostly I need, hey, Scratch and Peep me made it. Scratch and Pete, dude, actually, um, yeah, I met Scratch and Pete, uh, over on Tuber Chat's channel, and Scratch and Pete scratches, uh, to, oh, I didn't fire up the chatbot. Sheesh. All right, there we go. Chatbot, chatbot fired up. All right, there you go. Scratch and Pete scratches tickets, and every, you, you guys know every Christmas I scratch a ticket, and last Christmas we got a $20 bill. That was... A very lovely Christmas scratch. Um, Pete, let us know what upcoming videos you got, man. I always love seeing seeing winners. It's it gets me excited. Oop. We're supposed to do the wide eye by that before we actually get to the other part of the show. Jokes, joke portion. That's how we do it. You have thrown a tomato, kiwi. Oh, it is battery operated. Okay. Nice. Good that we actually got the battery charged up. All right. YouTube administrator is here. That helps out. <clears throat> All right. So that's the bulk of the Samethyst video. From there on, it's pretty much just the tips and polishing it out, which is why we can move on to the goofy por 
portions of the show, like the why I buy that. I bought ice cream cones. Why did I buy ice cream cones? And which ones did I buy? Do you buy cones? And why do you buy those? I bought the ones that were chocolatey. I like chocolate. I am a chocolate holic. A cho chocolate holic. Very chocolatey. Excessive chocolate. And, you know, I like the nuts. Those are good. But sometimes they take away from the chocolate. So if I can get as chocolatey as possible, that's what I'm going with. So when it's chocolate ice cream with chocolate coating, that's pretty much sold. And it depends, because sometimes I don't really want ice cream because I don't want to eat too... I will eat too much of it. I will think about it, and I will eat a box in like two days. But in this instance, I was like, mm, it's summertime, it's hot out, I like cool treats, makes for a good dessert. And chocolate, right? Chocolate. Actually, you know what I've been doing is peeling off the cone and not eating the cone, and then just eating the ice cream and the chocolate. Extra chocolate. And I want to say they're like a dollar and a quarter each, which, um, like if you go to the gas station, you can get the bigger ones that are like $2, dollar fifty, two dollars and they're actually bigger. The ones in the box, are they, they cheat you. They're for kids. They're like smaller ones, which is, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird, right? You know, when you, when you buy in bulk, but it's smaller, it's not the same. It's like they put all of the, the like end of the shift ones in the bigger box. Anyway, I thought that was a good one, good, good, good purchase because it tasted good and it was summertime and ice cream is delicious. So that's why I buy that. Do you buy cones and uh, why do you buy that? Why did I even buy it in a cone if I'm not eating the cone? We should ask ourselves that. And maybe next time, no, I've already talked about potatoes and croissants. Hmm. I need to buy other things. That way I can talk about other things and tell you why I buy that. I've still got two tubs of ice cream. No reason to buy more. Well, John, what kind do you have? I'm addicted to mint. Ch Ooh, John. John's right, because mint chocolate chip is a great combo, especially if you got plenty of chocolate chips in there and like chocolate chunks and chips and chunks and chunks of chips. What about butter pecan? I tend to think of both of them at the same time. I'm like, mint chocolate chip, butter pecan. I don't know why, but they're both great. Ice cream. Ice cream, Jacob. Exactly. I know it's ice cream, and I love it, and I, I buy it. I love chocolate almond ice cream. Chocolate, chocolate, period. Yep, chocolate peridot. Wouldn't that be interesting? I actually have some like yellow ear peridot and some blue ear peridot, but I don't have any chocolate ear peridot. One mint chocolate chip, the uh, cookies and cream. Okay, that's going to take a little while though, John, because cookies and cream is rich. I mean, you really got to be in the mood for something that sticks to you for some cookies and cream. Although I will say cookies and cream is pretty fire, especially if it's got the, the you know, the chocolate in there that's the topic i got i gotta do another why i buy that on chocolate just because it's so good i buy myself met ice cream met ice cream mint ice cream right of course i thought that you traveled all the way to new york to the met stadium christian blatt would love that he likes the mets just so that you could get some mets ice cream and eat that. And I'm not even sure what Mets ice cream is. It's probably got little baseballs in it. Little baseball gumballs. I used to get the butter pecan from the ice cream store all the time. Switch to chocolate almond though. Ooh. Like Crystal Shaman, tell us a little bit more about the 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 chocolate almond if you would. Are are you talking about like chocolate ice cream with almonds in it? Are the almonds whole? Are they little pieces? Or is it like, you know, is there is there almond flavoring in the chocolate? Or is it like ice cream and it has chocolate-covered almonds in it? And are they whole or chopped up? Probably whole. Hey, Colette says butter pecan. Oh, Colette knows butter pecan is delicious. That's what I've been eating pecans. I've eaten like two pounds, or no. 
eight pounds of pecans in two months. That's a lot of pecans, right? Kind of? Sort of? Anyway. Jeanette Korzenko says, ooh, moose tracks. Jeanette knows moose tracks are the best because you get you get the chocolate covered nuts and you get the, the, the peanut butter filled chocolate pieces and you get the chocolate fudge swirl. It's just like a big old chocolate moose track mint kiwi claw. Is that an actual flavor? Because like I'm thinking about stopping the stream and just kind of. All right, let's reconvene when we have some moose track mint ice cream. That sounds glorious. Speaking of glorious, we're supposed to do the joke portion of the program, even though I don't have it wrought down. Okay. But it's still this week's joke news. I'm going to have to use my phone. Uh, and let's see. It's going to be a little rough, but I'm going to try. A gardener was spotted putting extra water on her garden because it had sprung a leak. She was real smart. She wanted her leak to grow, and she watered it. I've got other jokes, I think. Uh, let's see. People have been complaining about cryptocurrency, citing technical difficulties. Technical. That, that feels like a lead-in, though. We need the rest of the joke. Citing technical difficulties. Something, something else that's funny f for a better, funnier comedian. Uh, maybe we'll get there. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Let's see. I might have actually told you this one already, but because we're doing two, two weeks worth. The government is mandating shorter cigarette breaks, demanding smokers be quick on the draw. No, I think here, here, this one's newer. Okay, still not worthwhile, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyway. A gambling ring was busted in a local barn. The lambs were playing euchre, and the pigs and the horses were playing stud porker, and the chickens were singing karaoke. Mm-mm. Still not, it's not done. We need a final punchline. I think these headlines jokes are getting better, but I need to actually, like, write the extra second half of the joke. It's almost done. I mean, that's pretty much the, I, I gave you the best ones. Now let's see what I got. Um, you ever notice people send out tweets in the middle of the night and it sounds like crickets? Ooh, I should have wrote this one down because I actually had some examples. I was like, Tweet, tweet. Why did you post that? Tweet, tweet. Do you really think it was a good idea to talk about that? Tweet, tweet. I don't think you should keep your profile up. Tweet, tweet. Do you really think this is relevant? That's kind of like crickets in the middle of the night, just making noise. But that there's I don't know I don't I don't know about that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, this, there, there have been protests lately of chefs who have been making demands by only cooking demand witch. Ah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably told you this one already, but I'm maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, police have been pulling over prostitutes for not using their turn signal. Uh, prostitutes are claiming about something else. I finished the rest of that joke. Gonna have to come back to it next week. And the last one, I'm so sorry for this week's joke portion. We're gonna try very, very hard. I'm trying to make salsa, too. Like, before the end of the season. Uh, it's been reported that a PC's favorite music is hard disco. And they also like the joke portion of the program. Because the joke portion loves PCs, right? Right? Computer, who's not going to crap out on us in the middle of the show? 
I'm just going to roll that same Samanthus video again because we're like almost done with the show. But I, I wanted to do something just a little bit different for the chess portion before I, I... And if you have something coming up, throw it out there so that we can... Uh, and, you know, go ahead and throw a tomato. Uh, let us know what you got coming up on your channel so that we can check it out. And, um, like, we're going to try and check out the chess portion. But I wanted to do a tutorial one so that you could see how I practice playing chess, which I don't do. I actually practice playing one game of chess. Uh, chess.com. Okay, so. This is back when I had time to practice playing chess. I would play, right? But instead of playing a person, I play a computer. So I come in here and I can set this and I set it down a lot lower than it was because I wanted to uh, win <laughs> while I'm not able to focus on the game. But I'm going to try and make this quick, a quick game for you. Okay, so we'll choose that one and then we come in here, we've got challenge, no help, three take backs, all the tools available. I want all the assisted tools. Let's make it easy because that's what I want to show you that you have the possibility to do on chess.com. So it's showing me different ways to start. And these are all textbook ways to go ahead and start the game. So I'm just going to kind of start the textbooky way. And the, the arrows are kind of nice. But uh, what's he doing? It's telling me whether or not I'm doing a good job. Um, we're gonna go like that, and that, oh, that, that, hey, that was suggested, good job, all right, like that, and then we're gonna go like that, and we took the queen, and we're gonna go, uh, like this, and put his king in check, and take the rook, and why would we take that knight, um, we're gonna go like that, it's protected by that knight, and we're gonna take it, why not? Taking more stuff. Um, then we'll go like this. And protect that pawn. And then we'll go... I'm not sure what to do. Uh, uh, I think I'm kind of screwed here. Unless I go... Like this. E. Alright, um... There we go. I wonder why he didn't take the knight. He could have taken the knight, right? I'm not even sure about that. Uh, speaking of which, we need to do something else. Like uh, uh, this. And that. And that. And that? And we won. And we won. We won. Okay. Hey, look at that. Okay, so analysis. Quick analysis. The bar on the left side. Is that the left side? Is that the side? Okay, yes. The left side shows us if we are winning or not. And I actually kind of wasn't winning for some weird reason at the beginning. See, it started going down. Maybe it was because he pulled his queen out. Not quite sure about that. Computers are weird. Just saying. We love computers, but they are weird. Oh, okay, so we pretty much won after he didn't retreat his queen. And that's pretty much... Okay. Yeah, it was all pretty textbook from there. That was confusing. He was supposed to take the knight. So actually, I shouldn't have set the skill level so low. I was just trying to show an example and make it happen, and it was pretty easy, and I won against uh, the easy skill level computer. We love you all for joining us for the chess portion of the game. And i um, trying to find the rest of the show portion of the game. There we are. Okay. So, where are we? Doing something like this? No, that's the camera. And the screen. And you lovely folks who are so amazing. 
checking out this. Hey, um, let's see. Shout outs. And there, I got to change the chat bot. It keeps dropping links. Uh, let's see. To the Amazon. And I'm actually, man, I need to. Hey, do you guys want to see the logo? The logo I've been, that um, we got Jules Design working on a logo. We're going to do this right before we get to the end of the show. And I'm going to read your chats's minus the botses. Is the chats is botses. Like a beefier, rocky road with peanut butter swirl and chocolate. I don't know what to call it. I really don't eat dairy. Gotcha. But still, it's it's still a, I mean, ice cream. It's delicious. Crystal Shaman, you won. You won too because you were here for the show. And Benny Loco made it just in time. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a great week. We're all gonna make it a great week. This this is um, but I I was hoping to get some feedy Becky. Can I pull this up? We'll do the we'll just do Chrome, right? And then we'll go picture manager, and we can show it like that. Okay, yeah. There's okay. Check this out. That's the logo. Up in the corner that Mother Nature made for us, and then the people I sent it to changed it up into a, into a something that they can let. I can send this to a printer, and then they can print this off, and it just uses the three colors: red, green, and white. So, what do you all think of the label? Actually, Rosin Smoke was helping out on this. I got to get him in on this this version of this logo. He was really cool helping out with it, too. You guys are all fantastic. This is a great community. I, I You know, I'm thinking that we're going to go with this one. I got to invest like $250 in these labels. So I want to, like, I don't just want to invest $250 in labels and then not sell enough plant food to get that back i'm just trying to figure out if it's if it's worth all of it so you know that and then we're going to put it back on amazon but anyway this is the labor so far and this is the show so far and this is the week so far we're going to make it a fantastic week you got this you got this you got this it's looking good uh, you talking about the tomatoes that were thrown at me? That that see that was a trick. I just I I mentioned that because I'm making salsa. I'm actually in the middle of making salsa. I cut apart the peppers, got the peppers taken care of. You know what I don't have done? The tomatoes. Got to do the tomatoes. So now I got a whole bunch of tomatoes. Thank you, goodness to see of you, and such a lovely audience. Br brought me so many tomatoes for the show. And I hope that you can come back next week and throw some more tomatoes. We can make some more salsa because I love you all. And I hope to see you all again next week and every week around this time-ish. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>